Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land. Oh, Come just on. kidding. Blasphemer. Oh, Hello, my. Boring Review Nation. Kind of pointless. We know all things. All right. Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Nick here. Jody there. And we are so appreciative that you clicked on this video. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching our reactions to videos such as Michael McIntyre that we're checking out today. And you know what's funny is I had said in the last one, he reminds me of someone. I'm sure I've seen him on TV here or there. It wasn't this, but he is hosting an American game show right now. Can't remember what it's called, but there was an oh, ad for it. That's and he's why the he host of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. But he was familiar from someone else. So this guy's been around. Loved the first video that we reacted oh of his about the kids because we can relate so just, much. I just died. Like everything about it was so, well, so beautiful. And it was great to read your comments talking about your experience with kids yes. or this or that. Or yes. some said, I, I don't have kids and, you know, now I'm glad or this yeah. or that. It was absolutely hilarious and fantastic to react to. So we're checking out this video. This is a high request. Thank you for the request. What's this one, Joe? I knew you were going to ask me. And I was like, I was like, by your talking, trying to look and be like, what is that? Akin Cacker? Uh, hi, my name is Ackle Akin Cacker. Akin Cacker. Now, Am I saying that you right? don't know this. I have no idea. Okay. But everyone else would call this the dentist one. And I'm pretty sure oh. it is him okay. going to the dentist. And everyone and their brother said, yeah, check this out. And usually I like to save like those high requests for later, but I couldn't. Now, it's funny because I think someone else that we react to also said a dentist one. But I think it was Michael McIntyre for sure. Okay, because I did read a lot of dance. I'm curious if it's because of your mouth open. You're like, ah, 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 ah. I'm, yes. like, I'm curious if I that's hate what it is. Unfortunately. Oh my gosh, they asked so many questions. Any teenagers watching this or young adults, brush those teeth because you're going to be paying for it in the long run like this guy right here. Um, I've been in the dentist quite a bit. And they love to have these long conversations. Ah, 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 ah. I, give me a break. So you might be right. It might be something like I'm that. I'm curious. We're not going to waste any time. Let's if you like our reaction anyway, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be aware of our next upload videos. Guys, we made it to 80,000. I am so, so stoked. Thank you so much. I said stoked. I meant stoked. I'm super stoked. Thank you so much. But can we get to 100? I really want to get to 100,000. Like, that would be so cool. Honestly, if everyone that watched this video hit that subscribe button, would I even think about it too much? We'd probably get there in a week with yes. all the fantastic viewers that we get. That would be um, awesome. Week by week, week in and week out. Here we go. I've also had five teeth out <laughs> this year. Okay. That's bad, I know. Four wisdom teeth, all of them, and another tooth I've had to have out because I've had terrible trouble with my teeth. It all started last year. I had Me this too. pain in my tooth because, you know, last year I was fine. My knee was fine. My calf was fine. My shoulder was fine. I was in pretty good nick. Then I had this pain in my tooth and I went to the dentist, you know, as you do. Open my mouth, which is key. Obviously, you have to, <laughs> you have to be asked. <laughs> you don't just walk in, ha? Huh? <laughs> So I sat in the chair and he's like, he looked at my mouth. He's like, you know what? You've got a rotting wisdom tooth. I've got to take it out. I've got to take it out. It's rotting. And I didn't really mind. I didn't even know I had wisdom teeth, to be honest. I know that my wife's had them out. So I'm like, yeah, fine, whatever you like. Also, there's a TV there. I was watching this morning. It's right in my face. I was watching Philip Schofield chatting away. I was like, yeah, go for your life. So he just got to work and I just lay there and I... I lay there for a while. I don't know, maybe an hour, maybe more than an hour. And I thought, I've been here ages. So I flicked my eyes over, you know, to see if the dentist was okay. And he wasn't. Oh my God, it's quite stressed sort of sweat coming off his forehead. He was straining like this. So I tried to ask him if it was okay, which is hard when your mouth is completely numb and he had like equipment in it. Came out as one sort of sound. Sounds like a mating call. I have been there. It wasn't my wisdom tooth, but it was my, uh, my molar in the back. They had to pull it out. And the guy's like, I totally, I can get this super easy. Just a little bit of pressure here and there. And he, at one point, had his like, leg on my no, chair and was doing this whole thing. He had to cut it like in force and pull it out. But he was so confident beforehand, oh, this will be easy. And then he couldn't do it. You don't need to be numb. Don't worry. Super easy. <clears throat> so that's hilarious that the same thing similarly happened to him. Sound. Ah! <laughs> Just one noise. Like a Northern Irishman saying mirror. That's an odd moment. <laughs> <laughs> They're not even in the dentist. I don't know what's going on there. I was like, ah! and he pulled back and he went, no, 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 I'm not okay. I'm not okay at all. I thought it was something personal. I was like, oh my God, tell me what the matter is. You poor thing. He said, I've been a dentist for 30 years. 
Congratulations, that's excellent. That's excellent for real. Really well done. And if you've never not been able to get somebody's tooth out, I can't get your tooth out. It's stuck. So, okay, look, you need to calm yourself down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in no loss. Okay, I'm not in any pain whatsoever. I've got no way to be. I'm watching this morning. I'm absolutely completely fine. Go away, have a cup of tea, chill out, come back, try again. I believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> He said, the reason you don't feel anything. I just had to laugh at that because so I feel supportive. like I say that to our children all the time. Yeah. Take a break. I say it to my students. Like, if they're, like, super upset and, like, you know, take about whatever stress. Yes, take a breath. You don't go outside in the hallway, take a lap, come back. We're good. It's all good. We'll try again. So that just cracks me up. That's awesome. He says, the reason you don't feel any pain is I've numbed your mouth, okay? Look, and he passed me a mirror. No. I am not going to lie to you. Till the day I die, I will never forget the image that greeted me oh in the no. reflection. Okay? This side of my face was literally twice the size of this side. There was bruising, I hadn't even noticed. My bib was covered in blood already. I couldn't even see it. There was blood dripping out the side of my face like a sort of vampire. My eye was sort of closing. I was like, what the f are you doing? <laughs> We've got to get you out of here. I've got to get you to a hospital. Follow me! And he ran out of the room. <laughs> I just followed on behind him. Hello? Excuse me. Hello? I have to say, I felt particularly sorry. The poor people in the waiting room, you know, they're sitting there with the, with the fish tank, <laughs> reading old magazines, reassuring their children everything was going to be fine at the dentist's visit. <laughs> bruising, blood all over my bib, blood coming out the side of my mouth. <laughs> yep. Yep. Has anybody seen the dentist? <laughs> so like, okay, children, you were right. Come with mummy. Come on, come with mummy now. Come on. Yeah, come on, you're right. <laughs> that idiot or you're right. There's some woman there. She's like, would you like to book an appointment with the hygienist? <laughs> the hygienist? I need a fing plastic surgeon. Where's my dentist gone? I look out the door. This idiot is in his car. He's in no, his car. No. With the door open. He's still got his gloves on. He's going, no. get in. <laughs> get in. Are you serious? Just get in. All right, all right. So I get in the car with this man. Oh my he starts God. hurtling through the streets. There's no way. Literally 10 minutes earlier, I was in the dentist chair in relative comfort watching this morning. Now we're driving through traffic. He's hooting and so My wife actually called me up on the phone. Hello? Hello? Hello, darling. He's still at the dentist. I'm with the dentist. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you're at the dentist? I'm not at dentist. I'm with dentist. <laughs> you mean you're at the dentist? No, I'm not at the dentist. I'm with the dentist. <laughs> Why are you being so pedantic? <laughs> I'm not being. Pum, bam, bam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the car. Oh, you're on your way home? No. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> well, what is wrong with you? The dentist is riding. <laughs> the dentist is riding. No, he's riding. He's writing. The dentist is writing. The dentist is rising. The dentist is writing. The dentist is writhing. I'll call you a waiter. You're calling a waiter. You're having lunch with the dentist. <laughs> There's this funny game that our kids got where you put like, these mouthpieces oh my in gosh, yes. and it prevents you from being able to pronunciate, you know, enunciate certain words and mm -hmm. letters and sounds. And that's that driving yes. thing right there. Cause you're yes. like, no, I'm saying it. I can't hear what you're saying. I'm hearing this. Yep. That's awesome. Oh, that's so, you're calling a waiter. You're having lunch with a dentist. <laughs> Finally, we show up at this door. He's like, you see that door? I'm like, yeah. Go in there, okay? That's a hospital. They're going to treat you. You're going to be fine. They know to expect you. Just tell them your name. Everything's going to be fine. Get out. Come on. Get out. He just leaves so you? Get out of this guy. He just drives off. He leaves me. I'm now standing on the pavement, right? I've still got the bib on, the blood soaked bib. I'm standing there. I saw my reflection in the glass. I have to say, I looked horrific. I was worried I was going to startle the receptionist. So I came in at my best angle. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, sir. Can I help you? Yes, I was wondering. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh my god! Have you been attacked? No, I haven't been attacked. 
I don't go out in the bib expecting a thought. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been attacked so many times, I now wear absorbent clothing. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, you're expecting me. <laughs> Uh, OK, sir, can I take your name, please? Now, the problem is, and you'll know this if you're on a local anaesthetic, you can't move your lips. I had no control of my lips, and you need that to do certain letters of the alphabet. The M, for example, greatly requires lip work. M, and I couldn't do it. I need that to identify myself. So she's like, can I take your name, please? Yes. I have Akko Nakinkaka. <laughs> you're right. Akko Akinkaka. <laughs> oh, Akko Akinkaka. <laughs> Ackle hugging gonger? Oh, oh what's my lips? <laughs> <laughs> my lips. No. Yeah, right, okay, I think the best thing for you to do is if you head down the corridor, take a seat in the waiting room, and we'll try to get to the bottom of this, okay? Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I was quite pissed off she didn't recognise me, okay? I was on quite a lot of television. I know that this side of my face was pretty much, you know, unrecognisable, but this side was fine. I tried to jog her memory as I went down the corridor. Unbelievable. <laughs> so we're getting to the waiting room now, and the anaesthetic starts to wear off. I feel a bit, you know. It hurts a bit now. I'll start making this sort of low yes. sort of E.T. Yes. type sound on my own in the corner. <laughs> I, try, people are, I, I try to be nice. I try to look at other people in there. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, I think for everybody, the nurse yeah. came in quite quickly. <laughs> Akko Akinkaka. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't respond, I just sat there. <laughs> she came right up to my face. Excuse me. Are you Akko Akinkaka? <laughs> no. <laughs> so, what is your name? Akko <laughs> Akinkaka. <laughs> that is actually me. Sorry, Taps. <laughs> this is my real name, obviously, is Akko Akinkaka. <laughs> Nope, 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 can't do it. He's out of control. Look at that face right there. Okay. <laughs> he's like, he's the making, thing is beautiful. He's, he's making those noises. <laughs> he's like a mental patient or something like that. And he's like, nope. Oh, that is Miss Eye Chops. <laughs> I just can't do it. <laughs> This guy's out of control. <coughs> He's absolutely out of control. Lucky you back up. I'm a good So they take me up into this room, sort of private room, and she's really He's nice dying. to me. She's like, yeah. oh my god, you've had a terrible day, haven't you, sir? Now, I have. I had a real horrible day. <laughs> Please, will you go help me? Like, yes, don't worry, don't panic at all. We do this all the time. We're going to give you a general anaesthetic. We're going to take your tooth out. Everything's going to be fine. If you just want to take all your clothes off and pop this hospital gown on, we'll take you straight through to surgery. For all my clothes off. <laughs> you just need to take all your clothes off, pop the gown on, and we'll take you through. Why do I have to take all my clothes off? All the patients have to wear the hospital gown. That's, that's, that's hospital policy. Yes, but you don't think I'm the family fit to leave them. I've got a problem with my tooth, which is located in my lap. <laughs> I don't have a tooth embedded in my arm. <laughs> so can I wear my own clothes? But no. <coughs> You'll know what it's like if you've been to hospital. They humiliate you for no reason at all. You have to put this sort of piece of shit, floral, thin gown on the wrong way round with your ass hanging out. I have to go into the loo with this gown so with you get my, two. my bare bottom hanging out of the back. No. And you put so you get two. One for the front and then it opens the back and then you put the other one around the back and keep it open the front. They might do that for girls. They don't do that for the guys. Uh, do you less. just have to request two. Put this on. For no reason. It's why everyone in the hospital has their clothes on the right way around. You have to put it on like that. I'll come out. Fat it on? Yes, that's perfect. God, it's perfect. <laughs> I've got a tooth hanging out, and now I go nug bung out. There's no reason why I have to have nug bung out. It's disgraceful, it's despicable, it's deplorable, it's abhorrent. What on earth are you going to do for me? I'm just general anesthetic. 
that requires access to my ass. I'm oh, pretty. <laughs> there will be repercussions. <laughs> There'll be what? Repercussions! <laughs> Don't take that tone with me, Mr. Akinkaka. For the last time, <laughs> my name is Akinkaka! <laughs> Now I have to follow this woman down the corridor, literally down the corridor. There's no way I'm going to walk down a hospital corridor with my ass just <laughs> flapping away here. So people just happen to be behind me looking at my ass. No, that is not going to happen. So I go down the, I go down the wall like this. Unbelievable. <laughs> There's no reason why I have to have my mama. Why have I got my mama? Somebody's actually doing the same thing towards me. All right, quickly, <laughs> easy, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. Finally, they lie me down on a hospital bed, and I'm thrilled now because I'm my ass is concealed. I'm happy. The anaesthetist comes in, a very serious, sort of quite old man. Hello. I'm the anaesthetist. I'm going to give you a general anaesthetic. I'm going to knock you out. I'm going to give you a small prick on your left arm. You're going to be knocked out immediately. You okay with that, Michael? My <gasps> Michael. <laughs> <laughs> That's my name. He said, yes, I know exactly who you are. My three daughters are big fans of yours. Oh, that's fair kind. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> then he put the needle in my arm and he went, my wife and I not so keen. And put it out! <laughs> oh, the video I was like, you mother! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know how many hours later, two or three hours later, I didn't know where I was. Sometimes I wake up at home in a deep sleep and I don't know where I am. This was the deepest sleep I've ever had. It was a general anaesthetic. I woke up, it was in bed, it was bright. It was hot. I'd come out of the covers, you know, when, you know, when like in a heat wave, you come out, you know, <laughs> your ass is at the highest point, you come out of the duvet. You know, when you're lying down, uh, at some stage during the night, the duvet sort of tucks in and you just sort of roll out. Like that. <laughs> so I wake up. And within moments, I feel this breeze coming no, out. No. So I turn around to see my entire family standing there. Oh my gosh. At which point my son said, pants down, you're the loser. <laughs> oh my oh. gosh. Oh, okay. I have to tell you, out of all the comedians we've watched, I think he is by far my favorite. One, oh, wow. I love the story like line, like when they give us a story and make it up, and he just makes you <laughs> laugh with everything. And he takes, such a simple thing, kids, the dentist, and it's just hilarious. Like, he takes you on the street, and I'm like, I don't want it to be over. What happened? Like, and, what happened after all that? And you don't even care if it, most of it's not true, because no, it's just absolutely hilarious. it's so good. The way that he, like, I completely doubt that he's doing, like, that butt against the wall thing, and there's <laughs> someone else coming. But I just love that small little detail. At the end there, and it was in the comment section of one of the requests, it said that Pass Down Your Loser is actually a game that he plays with his kids or something like that, where oh, like, shit. something like where if you're not paying attention, he's gonna pull your pants down or Oh, whatever. no, not you. So that's why at the end he's like, Dad, pants down, you're the loser. That's, like, that's hilarious, oh man. No, I, I, I can't agree that he's my favorite, but he is absolutely fantastic. He's absolutely killed at these last two that we reacted to. Yes. I absolutely love the one with the kids. This one was great. I still can't get over like how hilarious that kids one was. But yeah. this is absolutely hilarious because of his facial expression. I mean, that whole thing where he turns, he's like, yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> like, it's like straight out of a horror movie or something. And I love how he's like, you know my name. <laughs> Michael. I'm Michael. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> and the fact that he almost like, when he's in the way to make those sounds, like he, he already accepted his fate as just a <laughs> grotesque creature who was just like, I'm, yeah, I want to eat some bad stuff. Oh, man. So good. I, I know. I like uh, Mickey Flanagan. I love Peter K. But I just like Michael McIntyre. Did you even mention Al Murray? How dare you? Who's that? Oh, Murray. You're disrespectful. <laughs> but this guy's absolutely fantastic. Let us know what other ones from him that you want us to react to. Thank you so much once again for clicking. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And with all that being said, until next time. Goodbye.